good morning friends in the last lecture we were talking about the examples on euler's theorem so there are uh, more than two types of examples so the first type we have completed that is using euler's theorem find the value of so that part we have completed in the last lecture now we come to the next part that is next part of the example second part verify euler's theorem for fxy is equal to this one first example so here fxy is equal to this one therefore uh, we will see whether this one is homogeneous and if it is homogeneous then what is its degree so for that uh, f of we uh, find f of t x t y that is t raised to 1 by 3 x raised to 1 by 3 plus t raised to 1 by 3 y raised to 1 by 3 divided by t raised to 1 by 4 x raised to 1 by 4 plus t raised to 1 by 4 y raised to 1 by 4 so t raised to 1 by 3 is common from numerator and t raised to 1 by 4 is common from denominator and uh, whatever remains in the bracket is x raised to 1 by 3 plus y raised to 1 by 3 divided by x raised to 1 by 4 plus y raised to 1 by 4 and that comes out to be t raised to 1 by 12 f of xy using the law of indices so this f of tx ty is equal to t raised to 1 by 12 xy means fxy is homogeneous function of degree 1 by 12 in x and y and once our function is homogeneous and if it is degree is known then we can use the Euler's theorem. Therefore, by Euler's theorem, x dou f by dou x plus y dou f by dou y is equal to n into f of x y, 1 upon 12 f of x y. So, this one is this one is the result of Euler's theorem. And to verify the Euler's theorem means to verify this equation 1. So, uh, what is LHS? LHS is this one. We first find try to find LHS. So for that we consider our given function fxy, we find do f by do x, do f by do x is a need here. So do f by do x is, to find do f by do x we use, we use quotient rule of derivative. So denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator divided by denominator square. Then, uh, therefore the first term in the LHS is, x into do f by do x we multiply by x both the sides so 1 upon 3 x raised to 1 by 3 x raised to 1 by 4 plus y raised to 1 by 4 minus 1 upon 4 x raised to 1 by 4 into bracket x raised to 1 by 3 plus y raised to 1 by 3 divided by x raised to 1 by 4 plus y raised to 1 by 4 bracket square similarly we find y do f by do y so y do f by do y is 1 upon 3 y raised to 1 by 3 x raised to 1 by 4 plus y raised to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 y raised to 1 by 4 x raised to 1 by 3 plus y raised to 1 by 3 divided by x raised to 1 by 4 plus y raised to 1 by 4 bracket square. So our LHS is the addition of this and this. So therefore add this and this uh, LHS addition x do f by do x plus y do f by do y denominator is the same and therefore just add the numerators just add the numerators 1 upon 3 x raised to 1 by 4 plus y raised to 1 by 4 into x raised to 1 by 3 plus y raised to 1 by 4, uh, 3 minus 1 upon 4 x raised to 1 by 3 plus y raised to 1 by 3 into bracket x raised to 1 by 4 plus y raised to 1 by 4 and denominator is x raised to 1 by 4 plus y raised to 1 by 4 bracket square so these two brackets are common for both the terms and therefore uh, in the bra uh, in the first bracket we write here what remains 1 by 3 remains here what remains 1 by 4 remains so 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 into bracket whatever remains is x raised to 1 by 3 y raised to 1 by 3 uh, x raised to 1 by 3 plus y raised to 1 by 3 into bracket x raised to 1 by 4 plus y raised to 1 by 4 divided by x raised to 1 by 4 plus y raised to 1 by 4 bracket square. So uh, subtraction 
gives 1 by 12 and the bracket is f of x by. So therefore, uh, equation 1 that is Euler's theorem is verified. That is our conclusion. That is our conclusion. Next example. Second example. Z is equal to ax square plus 2hxy plus by square. So we observe that Z is a homogeneous function of degree 2 in x and y because the sum of the um, uh, sum of the indices of x and y in each term is 2. 2 plus 0, 1 plus 1, 0 plus 2. So that is 2. And therefore, by Euler's theorem, x dou z by dou x plus y dou z by dou y is equal to 2z. Give number 1 as in first example. All the procedure we follow uh, as per our first example. So to verify Euler's theorem means to verify equation 1. Therefore, consider z is equal to ax square plus 2hxy plus by square dou z by dou x 2ax plus 2hy 0 here plus 0. Then x dou z by dou x 2ax square plus 2hxy. Similarly, dou z by dou y 2hx plus 2by. y into dou z by dou y 2hxy plus 2by square 3. So add 2 and 3. So that we will get 2ax square plus 2hxy plus 2hxy plus 2by square. That is 2ax square plus 4hxy plus 2by square. 2 is common. ax square plus 2hxy plus by square. So therefore, we are getting x dou z by dou x plus y dou z by dou y is equal to 2z as per our uh, Euler's theorem. And therefore, our conclusion is Euler's theorem is verified. Euler's theorem is verified. Next example is Z is equal to tan inverse of X by Y. So Z of X T Y T. Here we use the procedure like this. Put uh, X is equal to X T Y is equal to Y T. So tan inverse of X T by Y T. So that is um, tan inverse of X by Y. T raised to 0 tan inverse of X by Y which shows that Z is homogeneous of degree 0 and therefore by Euler's theorem we have x dou z by dou x plus y dou z by dou y is equal to 0 into z is equal to 0. To verify Euler's theorem means to verify 1 consider z is equal to tan inverse of x by y therefore dou z by dou x we find 1 upon 1 plus x by y bracket square dou by dou x of x by y then well, that comes out to be dou z by dou x is y upon x square plus y square. Therefore, x dou z by dou x is x y divided by x square plus y square. Similarly, dou z by dou y is 1 upon 1 plus x by y bracket square into dou by dou y of x by y. That is y square upon x square plus y square into x into dou by dou x of 1 by y. And that comes out to be uh, this one and therefore y dou z by dou y is equal to minus x y by x square plus y square. So this is 3, this is 2, uh, sorry, uh, this is 2. So adding 2 and 3 we will get x dou z by dou x plus y dou z by dou y is equal to x y by x square plus y square minus x y by x square plus y square is equal to 0. Thus the Euler's theorem is verified. Then there are some corollaries of Euler's theorem. Corollaries of Euler's theorem that is uh, if z is equal to f u where u is homogeneous of degree n in x and y then x into dou z by dou x plus y into dou z by dou y is equal to n f u by f dash u. So if z is equal to f u. z is not directly uh, uh, z is uh, f, f of x y that is u is not directly uh, homogeneous but z is equal to f u is homogeneous then we will have this result. Then second result is if z is equal to f x y is a homogeneous function of degree n in x and y then x square dot to z by dou x square plus 2 x y dou to z by dou x dou y plus y square dou to z by dou y square is equal to 
n into n minus 1 into z and uh, x again the value of the same that is e is equal to g into z dash u minus 1 where g u is n into f u by f dash u. So these are the corollaries. We will see these corollaries again in our next lecture and examples on these corollaries in the next lecture. So for today it is sufficient. I suppose you understood the first two types of examples. So what is Euler's theorem? Euler's theorem he states that if z equal to fxy is a homogeneous function of degree n in x and y then x into dou z by dou x plus y into dou z by dou y is equal to n z. Then uh, what examples we have seen? Which examples we have seen on this? The two types of examples that is using Euler's theorem find the value of the example type number one and type two that is verify Euler's theorem. So these two types we have seen you can have your own examples also and you can solve all these examples at home. Try to solve more and more examples on these finite differences. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stay home. Stay safe.